What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use your official music app on your PS Vita. And the cool thing about this, there is plugins that we can use to get this music playing in the background while we're playing our games. Now just a bit of advice when you're gonna like follow this tutorial, I could not get this thing working with my SD to Vita. This music app really hates my SD to Vita, so I'm just using my memory card in this video, but my custom firmware is still running. I just had to unplug this to get it to work, which is a bit strange, but I don't know so if you guys do have an SD to Vita let me know did it work for you or did you have some kind of error when I tried to copy across the music onto the SD to Vita I've kept getting errors so that's why I'm using my normal memory card you guys can use your normal memory card or your internal storage but basically all we want to do is we want to go onto our computer I will show you guys what we need to get and then we can connect it and copy across our mp3 files so once you guys are over on your computer, we actually get a choice of applications here. You can use the CMA, Content Manager Assistant. Um, this is an official app by Sony, and this lets you connect your PS Vita to your computer and then transfer files. But if you guys would rather have an open source one, there is one called QCMA. This one is 100% much better. I would definitely recommend going for this. But if you have this installed, you can use it as well. But as I said, QCMA is a lot better, so I would recommend just using this anyway. So what you guys want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to choose your operating system. I'm sure most of you watching this video might have this installed anyway, but I'm just going to um, show you guys anyway. So we're just going to click on the Windows installer and we're just going to go ahead and download this. Now once you guys have downloaded QCMA or CMA, what you want to do is just go and install one of them. I would not recommend using CMA, so I'm just going to delete that. But QCMA, you want to double click and just go ahead and set it up. Now it's very easy to set up and once it's finished you just want to click on your search icon on your computer and we are going to search for QCMA. And here it is guys, all you want to do is click on it and it should actually work. Now as you can see mine is already running. Now if you've clicked on it and you're wondering like where is it because you can't see it on the taskbar, what you want to do is just click on the little arrow down here. We're going to find these PS Vita icon, we're going to right click on it and we are going to click on settings. So QCMA is very good, even if your PS Vita doesn't have custom firmware, it will work with it and you can actually use this to install custom firmware in the first place. But for this video, all we're gonna focus on is music. So on my computer, let me just show you my music folder. This is what I've got on my computer. So as you can see, this is my official music folder. Um, so obviously this PC music, and then these are all of the songs that I have. So once you select this as your music folder, it's basically gonna browse for every MP3 that's in this folder. So I will be transferring transferring some of these songs across onto my PS Vita. Obviously make sure to support the artists you love. Um, so yeah, it's up to you guys where you decide to get your mp 3 from. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. But what we're gonna do, we're going to open up QCMA once it's running. Um, where the music folder is, all you want to do is click on browse and you can simply just click on select folder once it's selected on music. Or if you've got your music somewhere in your downloads, you can click on the folder and click select folder. Entirely up to you, as simple as that. Now we're just gonna click on okay and we're basically going to connect our PS Vita with the USB cable. Okay guys, so once we are back, all you want to do is just tap on Content Manager, and then what we're gonna do is basically just connect our USB cable, and make sure this is also plugged into your computer. So we're just gonna go and connect it, now once you do connect it, it's going to come up with this notification saying connected to, that's my username, and it's going to say PS Vita. If you guys are having any issues with QCMA, what I would recommend doing is just clicking on the drop down arrow, right clicking and just clicking refresh database. This is something you might want to do anyway, so just go, to, go ahead and do it, wait for it to refresh, and when it's done, you can go back onto your PS Vita and copy across your music. Oops, that should not have come up. We're just going to wait. Let me just get rid of that rubbish. And now we just want to click on start. And once you click on start, this will open. And all we have to do from here is just tap on copy content. Okay, so now it's going to look exactly like this. What we're going to choose is we're going to choose PC to PS Vita. That basically copies your content from your computer onto your PS Vita. So we're going to select this. We're then going to click on music. And what this is going to do is automatically open up the music app. And what that will let us do from here is basically copy all of the music from our PC's music folder onto our PS Vita. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the music I want. I'm going to tick the boxes and then we can copy across the file. 
So for this video, I think I'm just going to copy across Bloods Boy, for example. He is a very cool underrated artist. We're just going to go ahead, we're going to tap on copy. We're going to tap on OK, and then it's going to copy across. Now, I've already got this, so I'm just going to simply overwrite it. But you guys get the idea. Select all of the MP3s you want, click on copy, and it should copy across. Now, some of them will display as unknown. I don't know if that's because I have random files in my music folder. Maybe I can copy across some unknown ones, and we can see what happens. So if you guys want to copy again, you just select them. I don't know, we're just going to copy these. I don't know if it's going to give me an error, but we're going to see what happens. Why is there unknown music? I have no idea. And there you go, it even works. So we're going to go and see what the unknown music is because I have no idea. Maybe it's the type of format it's in. But yeah, once you guys have copied across your music, that is pretty much it. You want to press the home button. You want to close everything down. And now we're going to disconnect the USB cable. And what we can do from here is actually tap on the music app tap on start and now you can start to play your music so this is actually very cool you want to go into songs and you can find okay so it did actually work that is very interesting why it said unknown um, for the songs audio and this was the song I wanted as well so maybe you guys should just copy across everything if it has the unknown glitch but um, let's just play some of this why not let me turn up volume and as you guys can hear it works now this song is copyrighted so I do not want any content ID claims but you guys get the idea but make sure to support your artists and there you go guys that is how you get mp3s on the official ps vita music app now keep note there will be a cool video coming out on my channel very soon which actually makes this all sound a bit better you can actually play music while playing your favorite games but yeah that is pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe let me know in the comments about your sd to vita because i'm really interested as to why this didn't work but thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one